Another news for you right now. The woman accused of poisoning her husband with five times the lethal amount of fentanyl in 2022 is officially going to trial now. Corey Richens, the Kearns children's book author, was arrested last year. And over two years since the initial crime, things are moving forward now. ABC 4's Annika John, she's been tracking this case since the beginning. She joins us live from Park City with the latest from the Summit County Court. Annika, some big developments here today. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sarah and Brian. So the judge has agreed with the state and has shown agreed that the state has shown probable cause for all 11 counts that Corey is facing, including attempted murder and murder of her husband, Eric Richens. Now, discussions began this morning with what the state prosecutors believe was Corey's early attempt to kill her husband. So on February 14th, 2000. 22, 17 days before his death, Eric Richens texted Corey that he might go to the hospital. A few hours after eating a sandwich, the state believes that Corey laced with fentanyl. While initial arguments went back and forth about the purchase and suspected use of the drugs, state prosecutors pointed out to the judge that Corey's behavior after learning her husband was feeling ill is disturbing. At, at that point, the defendant's own words are kind of important here because he texts her, right? Um, of his illness, of considering going to the hospital. And what she says is chilling. She says, take a nap. And then she doesn't check on him for two hours. She doesn't come home. She doesn't text. She doesn't call. She doesn't check on him. Now, Ridgen's defense then counteracts this argument by saying the take a nap quote was taken out of context. And later in the day, she was also she also asked Eric if she should come home, saying if she were there, she would cuddle with him. I, I, I must respectfully point out that when the prosecution talked about her saying go take a nap and how that was chilling, he pulled that completely out of context of the rest of what she said in that text. Would you like me to come home? Jesus is that bad. You know, she even at one point later in the day talks about, I wish, he says, I wish you were here. And she's like, I would cuddle you. So that is very misleading to pull that statement out. And I'm, I need to correct that for the record. Now, despite their efforts, like I said earlier, the judge, judge did rule in the state's favor, saying that they provided enough evidence to move forward with a trial, like I said, on all 11 accounts. Now, while an official set date is not yet set, they are thinking about potentially doing the trial between April 28th through May 22nd. Now, Corey Richens has pled not guilty to all 11 accounts. Reporting live from Park City, Annika Johns, ABC4 News. Annika, thank you very much. Now that the case is going to trial, make sure you stick with us for all the latest updates. We're, of course, going to be following this case closely, both on air and online at ABC4.com until that final verdict is in.